Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you're not already following me, I have an Instagram. It is Miss Serenity Smith Babies. That's Miss Serenity underscore Smith underscore babies. Thank you. And also I have a blog. It's Miss Serenity Smith Babies .com. I also have a Facebook page. I have a Facebook doll group chat. It's Miss Serenity Doll Chat Club. <laughs> and also guys, if you want to be part of the paid channel membership, it is a dollar and ninety-nine cents to join a month. And the link is in the description bar or on my About Me tab. It's always good to visit the About Me tab anyway. You find out just a little bit of quick over glance over the person's channel. But today, 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 we are going to do a kit review. And as you can see, I have the COA here. And it is of Pasco. Pasco. Um, Pasco. So this is Pasco, that is the COA. I have number 659 of 3300 by Joanna Kazmirak. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just call it Joanna K. Um, so anyway, this is some of the, uh, the back of the COA, some of the prototypes, okay. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get going. So let's start with the limbs. Some babies, with some sculptors, the face is the hardest part to determine if I'm gonna like it, and some is the limbs. Now, I will say I already looked at it. I have not put it together though to see how it flows together. So I just, I did take it out and take a quick, quick glance. So I am going to turn maybe I'll turn this this way so this is a leg we're gonna I'm gonna put oh sorry we're gonna I'm gonna zoom this thing out so you guys can see I'm gonna start there with one leg there one of the things I noticed that she has a signature of doing is the very uh, both bent knee shape arms that is something she does with most of her kits i've noticed that all right this kit actually comes with a tummy plate a half tummy plate which is pretty cool um so we're gonna go over the legs the arms then the tummy plate then we're gonna put them on the body and then we're gonna go over the head. And then we're gonna put the head on there. That is how, that is the direction of this video. All right. First of all, let me look at these two feet together. All right. So let's look at the legs together. Let's look at the feet. So I, for one, think those can be the most adorable feet. When you paint them, cause I'm thinking like once they're painted, they're gonna be so cute and so sweet. So I think those would be really adorable. Okay, so the feet are pretty good size. I think uh, they might still wear a zero shoe. Maybe some size ones if they are small shoes, but I don't know. But um, so this is the side of the foot, which it has a, a pretty, you know, nice ankle bone. Has some definition in the side of the foot. Nice ankles, so the foot is nice. Um, same with this one, nice ankles. I look at that type of stuff. Both feet, the toes are together. They're not separated. Um, nail beds are decent, so they are you know, well-defined enough to paint them good. Um, little fat rolls in the thigh area. And that's what the back of the legs look like. So, overall, I think the legs are cute, actually. I think they're gonna, I think they're kind of cute on the cute side. 
Um, both hands are closed fists, and I know some people may like that or may not like that. Some Everybody's different. I have some people that only like closed fists, and some people only like open fists, and some don't like, some like to have one or the other. I'll be honest, sometimes I kind of like when you just have either two closed fists or two open hand fists, because um, sometimes it, it flows weird when it's one open and one closed, but it just depends. Um, so I do like that they are both closed since they're going to be closed. This fist, pretty, hold on, I'm trying to make sure I got it in the camera. Okay, let's see. So this fist, I think, is pretty well defined. I think the, the, it's a nice fist. Needle, whittle, whittle fist. And I do like this fist as well. I think they're pretty similar, you know. Um, I don't know why this is so shiny, but hopefully it doesn't be a problem when I go to uh, paint it. I'll clean it real good. But yeah, this as you can see, like this one compared to this one. See how the it's matte, kind of matte look on this one, and you see how shiny this is right here. I don't know why, but anyway, um, sometimes that that if you don't get that, it'll cause your paint not to take as well. So, how to make sure it cleans up really nicely. Um, and then, um, so yeah, so nail beds are really nice on the fist. Um, nice little definition on the, like, the shoulders and stuff. Yeah. All right. So that's that. So now let's get the body out. No, let's show the belly button. Belly, belly button is cute. The, okay, so I think this goes this way. Is Which way the belly go? This, this, I think. <laughs> I don't know which way your belly go. <laughs> All right, you guys tell me. Is this dent supposed to be downward? Or is this dent supposed to be upward? You guys let me know. But it's so cute. This little that it, it raises up and sticks out. Oh my gosh, I love that belly button. All right, so let's put them on the body. All right. I love when the kits actually come with a body this one it came with the body it came with the belly plate and I I'm pretty sure I ordered the neck rings and all that jazz um I don't necessarily use neck rings all the time on my babies but I I like to use the plugs sometimes to close off the the limbs Oh, why is it only three? That's weird. Oh, maybe it's actually four. It's there together. So that's like the neck rings and the plugs that I would like cap off these right here. They're all there. All right, so we have the body. I'm going to put this on the body because this gives you more idea, I think, when you put it together. I don't want to really ruin my zip ties, so I'm not going to put it tight, tight, so I can be able to get them off. So, let's see. I'm going to have to get over here. Let's see. So sometimes the the position of the legs and the arms can affect the way the baby like the cuddleness fall. I won't really know that by just putting this baby together like this without having weight on it. So I can't I won't be able to answer that question just yet. But um 
I don't usually like like overly bent legs, but I think this one is good. Okay, so I don't know which way this goes. <laughs> okay, let me get a diaper. This is too much. All right, let's get a diaper. Let's get a diaper. All right, we're going to get to the head. Let's get the diaper because it doesn't make sense without the diaper. It looks weird. All right. I'm going to put a diaper. We're going to put the belly button there. I'm going to do this. And this is a non-gender belly plate, so it could be a boy or a girl. Um, most people like to do girl. I'm not sure yet where I'm headed with this. All right, so. All right, so we now we got baby on body. Let's turn it this way a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more. Very newborn size. All right, there we go. All right. And let me see. That's my, it is an 18 inch kit. Yep, it's 18 inch. All right, so here is the face. So this baby has like a little soft smile in the sleeper. Now I was a little on the fence. I, lo I love the baby initially because I loved Philip and it reminded me of Philip. And then I was kind of like, is it gonna be one that I really love or not? Um, because there were no AA prototypes, I couldn't really see it as a black baby or biracial baby so I didn't I still don't have really like an idea of what skin tone would I would want on this particular face but I love this face in person so I'm gonna put this on the body so I'm gonna just tight enough just to all right so I'm going to say boy for me. Um, this is a fairly small baby. So I'm definitely going to go with boy for me. Um, the nose is really nicely sculpted. I didn't go over the ears. Let me show you. Ears are small, but very, very, uh, very nice ears. Like really, really nice ears actually. Let me get a little closer. Those ears are actually really nice. Get a little bit more closer. Yeah, I really think the ears are really nice. I think you could paint quite a bit of detail with those little ears. They're tiny wooden wheel ears and neck rolls in the in the uh the neck part, which is really nice. That's nice. I love when they do stuff like that. This one, this, oh, this side doesn't have the same neck rows. Look at that. So it's more rows on this side. Oh my goodness. So I guess, you know, it's like, and then straightforward, it looked like it doesn't have rows at all. And if it's turned this way, not so much. But this side actually, it has a little bit of roll, but more so on this side, pretty cool. Um, I could definitely see this baby being a girl or a boy, um, but for me, I think I always tend to choose boy first. So I'm gonna say boy for me, but I do think this baby is actually pretty cute. So I'm gonna give you a view from different angles because I think that makes a difference. So I'm going to go downward, upward, from an overview, so this, this, this. Um, so I don't have a lot of takeaways from the, the sculpt, 
um, this particular time. Only thing I would say is that um, sometimes I like a little less scrunch up um, thing with the legs. But if I be honest with myself, babies tend to always have their legs scrunched up. So I can see why the sculptor would scrunch the legs up. But it's kind of like scrunching in straight. So it's like not a really like curving. So, but I think, I think it's gonna be like an amazing baby. I think we're gonna see some amazing versions of this, this sculpt. Um, the addition side is pretty large actually though. So, um, I'm, I'm just expecting it to be a lot of people with them. But nevertheless, I'm glad that I did go ahead and buy one. So, um, so overall, I want to say this is definitely going to be a baby that I really like. It's definitely going to be determined on how well I paint it. I honestly wish I could have somebody else paint it for me. So I might end up with another version or I might paint mine to sell and have somebody paint one for me. I don't know yet. Um, but I definitely, I definitely want to experience painting one for sure. Um, because I, I think I'm going to really love this, uh, this baby and I and the vinyl color is very neutral it's a, like the perfect color to start from I really really love the vinyl color so that's nice and the vinyl is soft and it's you know it, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be thick so it might be a very easy paint too so we're gonna see on that um, let me talk about lips real quick um, so the baby does have not super thin lips but details in the lips so that's nice and does have a little mouth there so that that will be interesting to have to take time to paint that you could people can paint that mouth so many different ways actually because of the detail I love the little baby newborny uh, puffs under the eyes the eyelids are nice um, the very defined ridges so um, in the face. So I, I think that this is a really nice kit. I really do. Love the nose on this one. I love the face. I, I won't lie. Like I, I love this face so much. This baby is such a cute smiler. Like this baby is a peaceful baby. Like seriously, like this baby is very peaceful. I love the face on this one. So I might go ahead and order me a second one just to have in case I decide I want to have a, a backup one for a different skin tone. But yeah, I love it. So all right, that's all I have. Let me know if you like the kit or not. If you got one, whatever you want to talk about, let's talk about it. Uh, but yeah, I... I for me overall, this is definitely a, was a good purchase. So I'm happy with the kit. Um, I think the, the this is a beautiful sculpt actually. So very well done. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.